Well, hi everyone. Are you ready for the cold? I don't know if you can be ready for this. You got to get mentally prepared because it is going to get cold enough to freeze here potentially across uh, pretty much all of the state. Friday night into Saturday morning is going to be our coldest stretch of weather, although it's going to be cold for really the next three or four days. But this is when we could see our first freeze and it's not including Northwest Iowa only because they've mostly seen a freeze there already, so not a big concern. Let's talk about what it looks like as we go forward here. We still have a chance of a few showers out there early this evening and around 8 o'clock is when the front starts to hit central Iowa. So temperatures still in the 60s and 50s, but then they drop very quickly. So it's going to be a mild evening early on and then get colder as that moves on through. Not much precipitation Friday, but there might be a little snow shower or flurry uh, develop in the early morning hours here. Otherwise, a lot of clouds, windy and cold temperatures starting off in the 30s and then struggling to get to the low 40s. And that's only if we get a little bit of sunshine. Shine. If the sun doesn't shine, we may not even get this warm, but it's going to be cold and windy all day Friday, clearing out Friday night. Of course, there's football games to be played, high school football, and these are going to be some chilly temperatures. Mid 30s, wind chill values in the mid 20s for much of Friday night. So we go into Saturday morning. We've got a southwest wind, but it's still very cold out there. Again, this is when we have our potential freeze temperatures close to 32 degrees for the low. And then some clouds will develop in northern Iowa Saturday. We should have a lot of sunshine in central and southern Iowa, or at least the southern half of the state, but up to the north, even some snow showers are possible there uh, through the day. So isolated showers tonight, rain showers, will be colder and windy later on, and most of that rain will be before 9 o'clock. Early morning mix is possible out there, about a 10 or 20 percent chance. Not really going to materialize to much, it looks like. 42 for the the high temperature tomorrow, I almost said low, and then we're looking at 50s for the weekend, barely. Lows in the 30s for the next several days. There is another chance of rain Monday night. Aside from that Monday night chance of rain, it looks pretty dry next week, and it will get warmer by Thursday and Friday. Unfortunately, right now, it looks like we could have some more rain coming in by Saturday and Sunday.